Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speedstar here, ready to run through the next part of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. Last time, we got the Double Claw Shots after taking down an Aerophos. So, with our Double Claw Shots, we are going to explore as much of the city in the sky as we can, and if I remember right from my practice run, we're probably getting the big key at the end. That's what we're essentially going for. Our got these stupid shoes. Ugh. And of course, you came back. Yeah, there's something with the tile worms, apparently, where no matter where the hole is that they hide in, like, as soon as they get near it, even if it's, like, super up high in that, they immediately just... They manage to get in there. I don't know if that was intended, if that was a glitch, or bad programming, I don't know. But, uh, regardless, uh, tile worms actually are a little more of a pain here. Anyway, you remember that treasure chest? The one that I didn't get before? Well, this is how I did it. This is how I should have done it, actually. Alright, let's get away from you, because... I want to kill you then, do the epic sword sheath. Oh man, I like being able to do that. And that's all it was, arrows. Now, there's actually two more treasure chests I did miss, but I'm gonna get them in the next recording. Yeah, um... I'll uh, talk about it when I get back to the door, so I'll see you there. Alright, now that we're back, let's continue proper. And coming in here... Guess what? Hey, you remember that thing from the Forest Temple, the Big Baba? Well, guess what? There's another one. But now that we have the Master Sword, it's not exactly a mini-boss worthy enemy. In fact, just, uh... Just two... Yeah. Two spin attacks. That's all. Every time I look at that, it just looks so freaky. Okay, first I gotta get rid of you. And then I gotta get rid of you as that thing blows up, and no, there's nothing in there this time, and epic Sarchi! Okay, that's enough of that. Now, if I remember right, yes, right up there, we need to hook onto this, and we need to hurry up and get off it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ooh, that was close. I probably did have a little more time, but, uh, I'd like to not have... I'd like to not be on that when it falls. And so long. Yeah, I like that. I just like uh, severing them and just watching them plummet to their death. I mean, I can't get the epic sword sheath, uh, which kind of sucks, but uh, I'm not really complaining. I'm not really complaining because, you know... Do I care how they die? Oh, keys. Oh, please don't like that. Both of them! <laughs> oh, that was good. That was just so good. Uh, you know what? Let's... Yeah, let's do it twice, so that way... It's not only severed... But it just... Kills itself. Huh. <sighs> More arrows. Oh man, I'm so wishing I had a bigger quiver. Hint, hint. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, you know what? No, no. I'm gonna use my claw shot. Well, I'm gonna use my main claw shot, and, well, that takes care of them, no problem. Now, coming over here, uh, you probably heard that grunt, didn't ya? Yeah, there's an enemy around here I really don't want to get into a fight with. You might know what it is. But first off, Epic Sword Sheath. And open this up, and we will get us... Final Freakin' Lee, our first piece of heart of the dungeon. Makes up for that, uh, hit from the Chew back in that last room there. Alright, anyway, uh, we finally got that. Uh, in fact, we're gonna be getting the rest of the collectibles. And by collectibles, I mean, like, uh, heart pieces, stamps, and, uh, the like. 
We'll be getting them uh, as we continue on. Oh yeah, I just have to target that. I don't have to look at it. I do like that they uh, gave you targeting for uh, those, because, uh, yeah. Watching that fall... Need I say more? Anyway, you see there? Dynaphos. What do we do with Dynaphos? Kaboom! <laughs> I love that so much. I just do. What can I say? Getting rid of Dynaphos with a bomb arrow. It's the best thing ever, because... You know how they... You know how they can be when you're actually trying to fight them with your sword. They are a pain. Almost as big a pain as this room is. This room right here, if you aren't quick on the draw, this room can take a while. Plus, there's a chest here. Let me see if I remember where they are. Yes, there are two of them, one of which is easily missable, but I'm going to try not to miss it. Now, if this pea hat will get over here... Oh, I should have been closer. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, nice. Just... Nice. But I missed my chance over here. Now, what I'm talking about is there's a bunch of pea hats here, and you need to use them in order to navigate this room. You absolutely have to. The thing that I don't like is because the piats are so slow, these can take a while. And there's also this stupid Bob Serpent here. Ah! And then, of course, the targeting mechanic. Now, let me get over here real quick because this chest is easily messable, and I don't want to miss any of them. I've already missed two of them, but uh, once I'm done with my business over in this area, I'm gonna head back and grab the chests that I missed. Now you see over there, our first impo. We're finally getting to these guys. Yeah, they don't... A lot of the collectibles in that don't show up uh, until later on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I want to target the impo. Uh, I hate that so much. Yeah, I know. It's a pain to uh, have the switch function, especially considering when stuff you don't want to target shows up. Yeah, but uh, it's what I'm used to. Anyway, not only do we get our impo, but we get the stamp for the Hylian letter G, our second stamp of the dungeon. And now with that done, I have to wait for that one Piat to show up. That down there, there's nothing down there except enemies. We don't want to go there. And I'm just looking, you know, looking at that big dragon circling the tower. Oh, I wish I could uh, claw shot to that chest right there, because that would make this room infinitely easier. I need to come back for that one anyway, because it's got one of our collectibles in there. Which one it is, I will not say. Now, this one... This part here is my most hated part of this room. There's a couple Baba Serpents coming up, and I want to try and stay away from them because there's also a chest down here. I'll be right back. Yeah, last time was my own fault. Now I've got it right. Ugh, stupid Baba Serpents. Unfortunately, I don't have time to deal with you. I have a ride to catch. And hopefully I can... Yes, good. See, that was the big issue right there. If I don't get to that pea hat in time, I'm going to have to wait, and uh, I don't want to wait. I really don't want to wait. Also, I might want to... Actually, no. I don't think I need my Hawkeye for this. Well, reason is, is coming out here... You remember how in the uh, outer areas, there's a bunch of Kargaraks? Well, I want to deal with them. A lot of them are pretty easy to deal with. Uh, the main problem is the wind. The wind is your big issue because, you know, when the wind is blowing, 
you can't shoot your arrow, otherwise it's just gonna uh, fly off in the direction of the wind. And I just want to get rid of these cargo rocks, because this way it makes navigating this part a lot easier. But, you know, I'm still gonna book it like there are car rocks around, because, uh... I wanna read this up. Oh, and speaking of which... Apparently that one must have landed on a solid surface somewhere. I'm gonna hit you, jump attack you, and... So long. Okay, now let's head back in here, and hopefully not, uh, jump off the ledge. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm not... I'm not that uncoordinated. No way. Anyway, getting this treasure chest, the other piece of heart in the dungeon, and that's good. We only have three more to go. Now, uh, effectively, there's only one piece of heart left in Hyrule. There's only one piece of heart, and if I remember right, I think only one stamp that are just, like, out there in Hyrule, and I had to wait until I got the double claw shots in order to get them. If I'm remembering right. Now let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be in this part any longer. Because we're finally getting towards the end. At least the end for what I'm doing in this recording. Dynaphos. There are more Dynaphos around here, and, as you know, I do not want to deal with them. And, of course, I completely miss. And... There we go. Come here. Kaboom! Dead. Not a big surprise. Oh, hey, dropped a purple ruby. I forgot, uh... I think it's a rare occurrence, or it's just that one, but, uh... Dynaphos tend to drop purple rupees. Hey, I'm not complaining. Purple rupees are worth quite a bit. And also, you see up there, there's cargo rocks. That's why I'm keeping the bomb arrows out, because I want to kill them. If I can at least kill them, then, uh... And not do that. Man, my name sucks today. I don't know why. Okay. That should be... Almost all of them. I don't want to go in there yet. So you notice here we have ropes. We have a few ropes around here. What do we do with ropes? Well, we can't exactly do anything right now, but I feel this is a little forced, but I do like that they actually made it so you had to... Uh, use your wolf form at least once, like you're required to. I do kind of like that, but I don't like it being forced. Unless they really make it more of a mechanic for the dungeon itself. Kind of like with the uh, Arbiter's Grounds. Because they actually did incorporate elements that, that kind of required you to uh, utilize both forms. You know, such as the mini-boss fight, dealing with the pose in that. I, I did like that. Here it feels kind of forced. And in the Temple of Time, you only needed to do it just for uh, going after the pose. Other than that, you didn't have to use the... Uh, you didn't have to use Wolf Form for anything. So I had to come over here because, as you see here, we have another chest and we have another impo. And even though... Uh, yeah, they, they show up, even though it's daytime, but that's because, uh, time is not exactly flowing here. Okay, let's get rid of that, and claim the last soul in a dungeon. Yeah, that was the final impo that you will ever find in a dungeon. The rest are in the Gerudo Desert area. And coming here, we get our final stamp for this dungeon as well. The Hylian Letter Z. If I remember right, I think we only have one Hylian letter stamp left to find. The rest are, well, uh, different. Now, as you see there, I can't exactly pull off, uh, yeah, I have to go the other way. Thankfully, it's not 
too big an issue. It's not too, too big an issue. So anyway, while I'm, uh, kind of doing my little carnival act, I kind of want to talk a little more about the city in the sky. Just a little bit. And one thing I have noticed, and I sort of brought this kind of subject up in the Lake Bed Temple, is, uh, it's pacing. The city in the sky actually has a lot more of a constant pace than the other dungeons. But that's because, uh, at the start, you already have one half of the dungeon item that you get here with the claw shot, so you still use the claw shot quite a lot. Then, of course, when you get the double claw shots, you're able to go to other places, but regardless, it feels like the pacing for the dungeon doesn't change even though you get the dungeon item. I mean, it allows you to get around, but... You're still being, you're still able to get a lot of things done with just the one claw shot, and uh, I'm gonna need my iron boots here. But then of course they also did integrate uh, using a lot more than just the claw shot for the dungeon. Like you get to use a lot of other things, like you, you use your bow, you use your uh, boomerang a bit, and of course you use your sword, but. Uh, that doesn't exactly uh, change much. Wow, I'm just looking at that right there. That's kind of... I should not be doing that, but you know, whatever. Anyway, the real reason why I wanted the claw... Why I wanted the iron boots and the double claw shot is this. We can now finally stop that fan and allows us to go back to the... Uh, the main room where... Uh, all the roads meet. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to get this. Our boss key. With that, we're essentially done. But I think I can do just a little more. Let me check the... Oh yeah, I can do a little more before I end this off, because I still got a bit of time left. I do still have a little bit of time left. So, let's just take care of this and sort of open the way to the boss itself. By the way, there's also a treasure chest down here. It's a good thing I checked. So, let's open this up and get us 20 rupees. So, the reason we can't go northward to the tower where the boss resides is, well, for one, we need to stop this, but two... There's another thing we had to activate. Now let me check the map, make sure I'm facing the right way. Okay, I think I can do it here. So we needed to stop this fan. Because we won't be able to open the way up until we stop that fan there. By doing so, there's this right here. Now, if you have to stop here, you'll also have these... Uh, you have these pillars with ivy on them. This makes a good shortcut to be able to get back up, because there's also that little bit of ivy right there. And then this is good. This is good, because this way I don't have to worry about uh, the whole Uku thing, about having to have my spot saved, because it's easy to get back to this room. And I mean easy. Like, it's only... It's only, like, two rooms. And I'm talking like the, uh, the start of the dungeon and then the one room in between, and that's it. Anyway, I think now's a good stopping point. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a short video, but whatever. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, we are going to finally finish the city in the sky and slay a dragon. That way, Link can be a real Hylian Knight. I had to. So, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you wish to follow along this amount of the Let's Plays, click the top right box to subscribe. Any concerns come up, I'll let you guys know on my Twitter. Additional info in the lower left box in the video and down in the description below. This has been Matt the Speedstar, and I'll see you guys next time when we run through the next part of Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. I think they can actually stop recording this time.